Okay, we are going to make an enemy for your flow lap game. Go ahead and position your player near the enemy that you're going to create just for functionality purposes. You can always move your character back where you want it to begin. But just for right now, go ahead and make a character, your enemy. Uh, make sure that it has two things to be able to bounce off of. If not, if that wasn't there, it would just keep on going. So go ahead and just make a little area to where your enemy can bounce back and forth. So go ahead and click in that area. Click create. Go ahead and rename it. I'm going to go ahead and name mine Goomba because we're going to be making something similar to the Super Mario Brother Goomba. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, physics in the bottom right. Go ahead and make sure that that is movable and affected by gravity. Go back to properties, edit sprite. Now here you can go ahead and make your own if you want. Or you can go to browse and choose one of these. I'm just going to go ahead and choose that monster there. You can go ahead and go to select category characters and you have the different, you know, the different ones here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'll go ahead and click behaviors. Alright, the first one that we want to do is triggers. Always. Next we need a number from the logic and math number. Go ahead and attach these out to in. Click on the number. Put the value to 4. Next we need to go to properties and go to velocity. This is going to allow our character to move out to forward. So we have a thread that looks like this. Alright, next we need to do some collision triggers. So if you go to triggers and go to collision, go ahead and click on that and unclick top and bottom. We just want it to go left and right whenever it hits against something left and right. We want that to then flip. So let's go ahead and find the flip. Let's see here. Under properties. Then flip. And we want it whenever it hits to just go back and forth. Under toggle. So go ahead and connect. Hit the toggle. Alright, so now that we have that, we need another trigger. We need another collision trigger. So go ahead and click on that. Now this is what happens if our character, sorry, if our enemy hits our character. But we're going to unclick top. So if our doggy hits the character, to, sorry, the enemy on the left, right, or underneath, if we're going to restart the stage. But we're going to unclick that so that our dog can jump on top of the monster's head and uh, eliminate that. That's going to be separate. So we got top unclicked. We're going to click OK. Next, we need to restart the game. Go to Game Flow. Go to Restart Game. Next, we got to go Hit to Go. So whenever this monster hits the doggy, it will restart the game. Next, we need another collision. So I'll go to Triggers. I'll go to Collision. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and change this first collision also to uh, our character, the doggy, so that if it hits the doggy, or it will restart the game. Sorry about that. And then for this collision, that will also be the doggy again, your main player. So I have collision, restart the game for if the doggy hits the left or right of that, or underneath. But if the dog hits on top of that, so go ahead and click on that where it says doggy. 
and unclick left, right, and bottom. So just leave the top. And now we need a destroyer. So go to components, destroyer. So that whenever the dog jumps on top of that enemy, it will destroy. Now, the only thing, assuming I did this correct, the only thing we're missing now is a couple sound effects. So under components, click sound twice. Move those underneath the bottom two collision, collision doggy. Hit to play, hit to play. Click on your sound effect and choose your sound effect. So for the restart game, I'm going to go ahead and choose an explosion or something. So that's fine. And then for the other one where it destroys, probably do a electric. What do we got? Sure. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right, next I just need to make sure that this works. I'm just gonna go ahead and... All right, that restarted. And that made it disappear. All right, that's that.